Hello and welcome back everybody, Akamadiel here, and um, very different video I have in mind, um, and this is more or less a, I guess, series I kind of want to start, I am curious about the feedback on this, this is going to be a how to use, okay? I do want to tr tr try to do the series to prioritize new units that come out, obviously, if I do summon for them, if not I can probably find something, maybe even people in the discord maybe maybe they can help no, not too sure i will i will throw that experiment around uh by them but more or less this will be a how to use and and well my first target for this will be galaxy here who who pretty much just came out all right she came out yesterday and and or was it two days ago i don't even ever remember anymore Everything blurred, but regardless, she's a lot of fun, and, and well, and well, I don't think people exactly understand how technical she can really be, and just how good she could actually be in co-op, alright? She, she could be very, very good, but, but people are still in, in the learning phase, and well, I more or less want to speed that up, alright? So... So hopefully you guys do enjoy this. Feel free to say in the comments below what other units you would like to see a how to use on. I already have Galaxy in mind. I just want to see how well this series does. All right, it, all right. If it does well, I will definitely do more. If this doesn't do too well, well then this might be the the first and only uh, iteration of this. All right. This entirely depends on how well this does. All right. So regardless. I will actually be I will actually be very quickly uh, sh sh showing off uh, some things in in Avenue to Fortune real quick, right? Just j just very quick. Uh, I'm sorry about no, not not Avenue to Fortune. I need you, all right? So let's actually do oh perfect wind drops, perfect. All right, so all right, so just to very quickly explain my bench, actually I gotta switch you back because because I have been testing. I've been I've been doing a lot of testing to see what works. Uh, just in case if you haven't been, been paying attention to uh, to my Twitter or or even in, in the Discord, I've been experimenting a lot with Prince and Coabs because we don't have access to the Sim yet. All right, the Sim has not updated to uh, to accommodate for for uh, Galaxy. All right. So, more or less, I've been taking it upon myself to see what works and what doesn't, alright? And more or less, I came upon this as consistency, but, but however, just if you don't own Marth, Halloween Mim is great. And well, just if you don't own Halloween Mim, uh, Zanya is also great in that spot. Nobu can, re can, can, can be replaced for any katana, really, but however, having Nobu is so much preferred with, with Ezleth. Because of the fact of 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 combo time four, you can have five seconds, all right? Because Galaxy is built on combo, all right? And and well and, and well, I will more or less uh, show you how. But first of all, I want to show how technical she can really get, all right? Then then I will go into explaining how can my guys that work, all right? So then first things first, um, Galaxy has has unique combos, all right? So. So first of all, that's not you. That is not the dagger combo. <laughs> that's something completely unique to her. Right? She can fight at a, at a mid to long range, which is absolutely nuts. All right. All right. So, so uh, just gonna be spam and uh, uh, just gonna be spam and, and there you go. Right. Uh, you can do uh, three hits. Then will that jump up? That is a teleport to to whoever's locked on. All right. That can get by a lot of things, all right. But however, she she has something unique, all right, to to of where she has a very unique combo, even more unique than this. It's a delayed combo, all right. So our first hit will be that, regardless, all right. But but the well, but we'll pay attention on her real quick, all right. Saw that, saw that light. If you if you press at that moment. You will trigger the delayed combo, all right? 
Then from there, you need to keep it delayed, alright? So, for example... This is amazing right here, right? This makes her so much fun. And... And, and also, and also, this is... And also, this is a tiny better for her. Because, well, this will make you charge your skills just a little bit faster. And also does slightly more damage. So, well, just if you can learn this uh, delayed combo, this is gonna help you out immensely, alright? And also real quick, uh, the force strike, it's also, it's also not dagger, it's just... It's just very damn cool, alright? So... So now, let's actually start to uh, get, uh, get, uh, get into this, alright? Yep, see? So yeah, so that right there, uh, she is uh, very fun already, right? Very fun. This object seems suspicious. It's a treasure chest. What? Fully charged. Well, but then we'll uh, harass one. Uh, let me show that off uh, real quick. Just damage. Very nice, actually. That can also be used at a range as well. So, so yeah, she really is a range dagger, which is very nice. Um, um, I will not get time in this stage alone until she shows off, but, but her second skill is her Eden mode, alright? When she activates Eden mode, her, her first skill and second skill change entirely, alright? Uh, first skill adds on more hits, then applies burn, still out of range, which is great. Then, then the yes. Oh, one sec. There we go. <laughs> Then, then, then from there, uh, her S2, it, it, it actually does damage. She spins and goes closer to the enemy, alright? Now though, well, now that I'm, now though, hopefully, hopefully that explained everything well enough, but, but more or less, I'm now actually going to use her in a proper endgame stage, right? I'm going to take on Expert Volk, right? I'm going to take on Expert Volk, and, and well, more or less, Keep keep everything in mind while I use her, alright? Just if um uh, uh just if all you have any questions, feel free to comment any questions down below. Because well the more questions are uh, the better. S more information will keep uh, popping up as well. So so I'll so at that point, um Um I should know that information near instantly because uh, because I'm always paying attention to uh, the Reddit. Um um, I'm I'm also consistently uh, looking at the uh, DPS sim. I'm just patiently waiting to where I can see her optimal setup. All right, Be because well, I can only test so much. All right, and this looks fun. Okay, change it to healer, please. Oh yeah, well, for example, um, uh, blade, blade wand and dagger, very nice. Twinful bonds. You could sub twinful bonds for primal crisis. But the twinful bonds everyone should have access to, and and me and my bestie is, is a burn punisher, which is absolutely great. I I recommend both of those prints. Then eleven champion can work as well, just in case you don't have that. But however, but but however, I do recommend a burn punisher, which well that's another problem Lassie has. She doesn't have a consistent access to burn punisher. I mean to. To burning in general, in which well that could be settled uh, with, with a shared skill or, or even just a good uh, unit in general, right? So yeah, here we go. Look at that. At a range, there we go. Oh yeah, that's right. I never explained. I never explained her uh, reservoir even. Fuck! Damn it! All right. Okay, though, how her ski reservoir works is that is that once when once when she gets uh, three bars, she gets a uh, unique buffs. All right, her buffs her buffs are. Are a, are a skill damage buff, a defense buff, then 
than a than a strength buff, right? She is. However, though, once when uh, you activate Eden Moda, just like now, you cannot gain any more bar, right? Once when once when Eden Moda runs out, that's it for her, right? All right, all, all those bars are gone. All right, well, once when e Edemoto wears out. But the well, however. Oh, I swallow me. Give me a minute. I would like it to concentrate uh, right here. And there goes my combo. I'm gonna have to rebuild that. That and also, uh, e Edemota, uh, she gains like a, a little drone buffer as well, in which, in which will that drone, that will, that will allow her to, fuck. Uh, I'm concentrating right now, don't mind me. Shit. Fuck. Alright. Alright, well, um... Um, I don't know what, what else to say exactly, uh, right now, uh, to be honest. Let's move in. There go, uh, 300 are right there. There you go, all speeding. Oh, let me transform just for the speed right now. I, I can take that. There we go. Okay, well, that's... Okay, well, hopefully I explained everything uh, there is uh, uh, to know about her. Um, um, at least, uh, at, at least, uh, play-wise and, 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 like, hidden stuff. I, I'm now actually going to quickly move into her abilities in which, well, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't uh, go over those. I did go over her skills, why the bench is there, why I, why I have her prints. Um, obviously Mars, because Mars is amazing then then the Agar, then the agato dagger which is actually not even tier two yet that was only a tier one dagger all right so, so, so that's something else but the well yes i obviously do have a 50. uh standard attack collab is very nice on her now then now then this explains her her uh, reservoir actually and uh and well, I think I explained that a well, uh, well enough. Um, uh, uh, just if you have any more questions, uh, feel free to um, ask a ask away. Both reses as well, actually. So she's actually very good. That's also why I was I, I went for all all the orbs uh, pretty much be because she can do that very well. And this this is why you want the combo time, all right? I'm I'm sorry it took so long at the end of uh, this video to actually explain this, but. This is why she wants uh, the combo time, all right? She can increase her crit rate to up to 12% at a 45 hit combo and adds 4% to critical damage every time she gets a critical hit up to 10 times. So pretty much every time she crits, it's 4% up to 40% uh, damage, which is nuts, which is also why I have Ezolith, so therefore she's critting more and because she's creating more, she's doing more damage overall, which is also why Halloween Mim could be used very well with her as well. I actually did use a Halloween Mim on one run. I, uh, she also did 600k damage. It was actually nuts. I have a Twitter video on that, actually, which is nice. That and uh, then also, um, once when your combo runs out, um, it this buff resets. That is also why you want as much combo time as possible. That way you can keep that. 
because that is valuable as shit, right? So yes, so yes, that's why I'm running everything. I I'm still waiting on a on a like official thing from the uh, DPS sim. But either way, hopefully you guys now know how to how to properly use ga 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 Galaxy. I I especially wanted wanted to highlight that delayed attack because that delayed attack is absolutely amazing, and and also the fact that you can fight at a range and not be up close is also amazing. And, and to be honest, she's just so much fun to use, all right? If, just if you own her, I recommend trying her out because she's a lot of fun. I, I can next guarantee you, you will fall in love with her kit, all right? I can next guarantee that. But either way, uh, that's it uh, for this video. And I'll see you all next time. Uh, what do you, uh, what do you have to say, Laxie? Hard to believe the combat androids have existed for a thousand years. Our past is meaningless. Only our future matters. Okay, I'll just leave on that.